Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. This is just a quick video, little update. I'm sorry for um, teasing you. If you thought this was an ASMR Reiki video, eh, I will have one of those for you shortly. Thank you so much for it for being with me here. I wanted to just create a video to kind of put words like I'm more of a visual and auditory type of person. So I wanted to create something to explain or give a story about um, an upcoming trip that is available to anyone who would like to take a trip with me. A maybe a month ago or so, I was approached by a company called Trova Trip. I did some research into Trova Trip and they're a really cool company and create awesome opportunities for um, communities essentially to like get together and travel. They have a wealth of resources and just uh, itineraries like a hundred, well maybe not hundreds, but nearly hundreds of itineraries, different places that they go to. So I, uh, you know, I indulged. <laughs> and uh, a couple weeks or so ago, I put out a request in one of my videos for anyone who might be interested to please complete the survey because if we got enough responses, we could build a trip based off of, you know, what everyone's or the most common uh, things are. So like when people want to travel, where they want to go to, stuff like that. And we did get enough responses. Thank you again so much for anybody who completed that survey. It really was quite helpful. And we're in the process now of putting together a trip, which is just so cool. I've done retreats before. I don't wanna call this a retreat because I think it's gonna be a little bit different than what I've experienced before. Um, so I'm just gonna call this like a group travel because uh, I don't know a better word for it. But I've done things like this before um, with friends. Um, Blanca, my friend, Blanca was one of the hosts with me once. Um, Holly Simple was another host with me, my friend Juliana. It's, it's so far been sort of a um, homies <laughs> kind of situation of these experiences. So working with a company who has a lot more resources is certainly a different ballpark for me, a different game, different like way of operating this. And funny enough, the places that I've been to before with other people have been Costa Rica. And Costa Rica was the top, <laughs> the top pick for most people who completed the survey. I will say, there were some other really great places that I would love to visit, places I have never been before, but I'm thrilled that Costa Rica was what most people chose as well because I've been there a few times and there's something, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get a little like wooey here, but there's just something really potent about Costa Rica. There might be a very high potency in a lot of other places too. I'm not trying to say it's only Costa Rica, but it was the first time that I had gone somewhere where there was like an overwhelming feeling, like an innate understanding of like the richness, the fertility, if I can put it that way, uh, of the earth there, of the plants there, of the rain there, of the weather, like just everything felt, forgive me, I know it sounds corny, like very magical to me. It was like a very magical experience going there for the first time. It's one of the reasons that I chose to move to Florida from New York when we were figuring out where to move to because I wanted to be closer to Costa Rica. I have friends there. I wanted to be able to get there a little bit more easily. And Florida is kind of the closest you can get here in the States to a similar energy and I don't regret moving to Florida because of that because I did get that out of Florida like there's just like a real high energy here it's different than Costa Rica I think it's more of like the winds and the Bermuda Triangle and stuff like that but it's undeniable like there's like a wild sort of energy in Florida all right so sorry about that little tangent but I'm just trying to express I guess like genuinely like how much I love Costa Rica and how excited I am at the opportunity for us to take a trip together. So I'll put a link below. You can visit my page on Trova Trip. There is a email sign up if you'd like to be like notified when we launch this Friday, April 5th, as well as you'll be able to look at the itinerary, which I'm gonna share with you here because again, I'm more of like an auditory and visual type person. I like hearing things from people. It's 
sticks more for me or it like connects more or just appreciate it more. But you can also go to my page there and check out the itinerary for yourself if you like. And while I have been to Costa Rica before, I've only really been to Jaco and Dominical. So um, we're gonna be going to um, a different direction, <laughs> like out of the airport, a different direction and visit the rainforest and then go to a beach and stay by the beach. So there'll be like two different hotels and stuff. It just all sounds really cool. <laughs> Sorry for my limited language here. It sounds like a really cool trip, a really fun trip and something that is gonna make a lot of memories. The best things about the experiences that I've had so far with being able to meet with people in person and take trips together is just that, like being able to meet in person, being able to like vibe with someone, <laughs> to have a conversation, to have those shared moments, whether it's over breakfast or dinner or during little activities or whatever it is, those moments mean the world to me. So it is, as much as I'm excited about the rainforest and getting to that beach and just floating, ah, just floating, as much as I'm excited about that, it's really like those conversations and the role that everybody plays in a community sort of activity like that or a group activity like that. I say that cautiously too because I'm introverted all in all. I'm like an extroverted introvert or vice versa. I don't know. I'm here and there, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed either like, ooh, group, <laughs> because there's gonna be time for, you know, opportunities that are optional to get together. There's also gonna be time for yourself as well. So it's not this like, overwhelming, I have to be with a group the whole time sort of experience if you like a little time for yourself like I do. Okay, so if you go to my Trova trip on your phone, it'll look like this. Yes, that's kind of an old photo, but it's the best one that I had on my computer. So <laughs> different hair. But um, down here, you can see upcoming trips. Let me adjust for you. It'll look different on the computer. But here's my about my about upcoming trips and also the um, stay connected with my travel plans this is the area that you can sign up if you want to be notified when the trip launches all right so as I share this with you I'll just show you this funny picture it's me with a coconut on my last trip to Costa Rica which was a very again marking of time experience for me and I think for everyone in the group because we went there in 2020 around Easter, so like late March, I wanna say, from, it might be early April, but I, I wanna say it was like late March, and everything was different when we got back, you know? It was not only the personal transformations, but the whole world was changing, you know, during 2020, right? So it was really, really interesting. Anyway, let me just show you a little bit of the details. So we have the trip planned, from look at me go <laughs> september 1st to september 6th 6th is a really tricky one for me usually and i hope i pronounced these right we're gonna be in la fortuna and tamarindo uh, so it's a dual adventure <laughs> i'm kind of reading from here forgive the copy here a dual adventure in costa rica where we're going to be able to experience the enchanting landscapes of la fortuna and the coastal allure allure of tamarindo so freaking cool so la fortuna is the rainforest so when we go to the rainforest we're gonna be able to do it's optional but zip lining um Yes, I want to do zip lining. I've never done it before, but that video of that little boy going through, going through the rainforest or on the zip line with the camera on him, and he's like, it's just usually a meme of like, yep, this is my year so far. This is how my year has been. Oh, this is great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this isn't so bad. Oh, oh. Like, <laughs> I want that, you know, I want that. We're gonna go to a waterfall and just have a great time experiencing like waking up in the rainforest, having that experience. I'm so into it. I'm just picturing green and moisture and food and coffee and experiences and smells and hopefully some animals or something we get to see. I'm so stoked on it. So we'll have day one, 
a welcome dinner together in the rainforest, day two, we can do zip lining if we want, we're gonna go to that waterfall. And then the third day is more of a travel day. And that's typically just how it is in Costa Rica. Even um, in past times that I've gone, like visiting Dominical, it's like a four hour drive from the airport. So that third day is gonna be a bit more for travel. We're gonna have um, a, a significant drive, I would say, to be prepared for that from the rainforest to the beach. But I love those drives. I love taking guided tours. I love driving through countries that I've never been before, or even down streets here in Florida that I've never been before. So that's not a problem for me. I love being able to talk in the car and we'll have like private transport. So the third day is more of a travel and relaxing kind of easy day, I guess you could say. I mean, it's all easy, but you know, it's gonna be more of like a travel day. The fourth day is when we'll be at the beach and there's an optional surf lesson if you're into it. I'm definitely gonna be in that water for sure. I don't know how good I'll be at surfing, but I'll give it my best shot. And that's the day that we're gonna have our, again, optional, but like group gathering together, which I'm very excited about. And you know, with the spirit in the spirit of authenticity i feel really called to keep it a little more loose i don't want to create anything too rigid or too structured when we're in this place of i don't say just like nature just like really beautiful rich nature like i want to be in the moment i guess is what i'm trying to say there so in regard to our meeting our group gathering together what i really want to do is be present <laughs> you know be in the moment so i want to keep it a little bit loose not super structured not really rigid is what i mean by that and invite anyone of course this goes without saying to ask any questions to um, share anything you know this is a great place for setting intentions the magnitude the multiplication factor when other people are holding space for you as you're perhaps declaring your manifest validating something that you've been through it can be quite therapeutic it can be also very potent when it comes to enhancing your meta your excuse me manifestations your intentions so I want to have opportunity for that of course in our in our gathering together I'd also like to share with you some energy work practices that I'm utilizing myself that really work for me some things a little bit from Reiki a little bit from my personal practice as well as lead a gentle guided meditation for the group and um, do a some energy work, you know, if you if you permit, of course, people can decline if they choose, but some energy work for everyone who attends, as well as an attunement to just really signify, to declare, to step into and acknowledge this marking of time, this transitional period that no doubt we're all experiencing in our own unique ways, these intentions that we're setting, and just really like stepping in or connecting with that energetically and you know i'm sure the group will but i know i can promise you myself i will hold space for you for that during an attunement for you so i'm very excited about that if there's anything of course that people really want to hear about you know i'd love to hear from you before we even go and i'll add that into my um, intentions or my uh, plans for the group gathering together but in the spirit of you know being in the moment i'm keeping things a little bit on the looser side with that on the fifth day which will be our last day on the trip we have something I'm so excited about and I want to read it to you actually, but it is the sunset sailing and snorkeling tour. So we'll bid farewell to the beautiful beach on a sunset sailing tour. We'll be picked up on a smaller boat that fits about 25 people it says and transfer for 10 minutes to the catamaran. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. As we sail, we'll pass white sand beaches and tropical jun jungles, then snorkel the warm waters and take a closer look at the amazing marine life. Keep an eye out for dolphins, sea turtles, flying fish, even a whale. <laughs> After, we can enjoy a late lunch and hang out on the beach and watch the sun slowly set. And I will be enjoying as many floats on that water as I possibly can. I'm such a big floater. I love that feeling of kind of like being between atmospheres, <laughs> like floating on the top of the water and just like contemplating the atmosphere of, you know, space and air or our atmosphere, our environment, and then the water below. Oh man, take me there. Can we go tomorrow? <laughs> Can we go now? 
I'm so excited, sorry, I'm getting a little cheesy, but I'm just very, very stoked on this. So the trip does include double occupancy and three star hotels. Limited single rooms though are available and I'm sure you can arrange that as we set it up. And if you have any questions, I can pass them along to my, um, my connections with Trova Trip. So we'll definitely make sure everybody's covered. There's a local guide throughout the trip as well as all city transfers. What's not included in the Trova trip package is the flights. So that's something that we'd have to be considered that we'd have to get our own flights um, as well as any transfers or any you know passport fees or anything that's like each individual's responsibility. While, and you can look at the itinerary to see exactly what's covered as far as food because there are meals that are covered we'll still be responsible for our own food, like lunches and stuff some days. So it's good to know ahead of time for that, as well as um, like tips, you know, if you want to tip your guide or tip um, anyone who comes to clean your room, that would be something that's more of like the individual to cover. I am so excited at this idea. I really hope that it works out. I think we need enough people to sign up for it to happen. If only one person signs up, I guess we can't go. But um, hopefully we get enough people and this happens because I'm just so excited at the idea of it. In terms of activities, I don't know what excites me more. A canopy zip line, the beach and the waterfall, the surf lesson, snorkeling. I've never been snorkeling. I want to go snorkeling. It sounds so cool. I'm so into it. But most of all, and this is genuine, I know it sounds canned, but this is genuine. I am most excited to connect with people in real life. I live a little bit of solitude <laughs> and I, I don't mind that but the opportunity to connect with you know quote unquote like like-minded people or like people with friendly energy or just to make connections with people who may have been watching my videos for a while like ah uh, cloud nine can't believe it is even an opportunity so Thank you so much for this opportunity. I hope that if you want to come, that it works out. I'm manifesting it for anybody who wants to come, you know, just like holding space. I just want to thank you again so much for just hearing me out. I'll put all the links below, like I said, if you want to read stuff for yourself. And, you know, yeah, the trip is going to launch on Friday. Uh, I think there there's over 10 spots, so, you know, there's over 10 spots to start. And I'm just like fingers and toes crossed that this works out because I can seriously not get out of my head. And I even put this on the page. You'll, if you read the itinerary, you'll see me say this again. But I have just been envisioning like every time I go to sleep, <laughs> this visual of like looking down at my feet, walking across some sand, seeing like, you know, the coconut on the ground, the different berries that fall from the trees or whatever, just like on the ground, crossing through the sand. Oh, I see a little sand crab walking up across the sand till I get to the wet sand, till I get to the shore, putting my feet in the water, walking out into the ocean a little bit. I'm not a great swimmer. I'm not going super far and just floating, but I can hear other people you know like i can feel that there's other people there with me i can hear their footsteps in the water i can hear their conversation together and it's all just kind of part of the <laughs> part of the vision you know part of it so um again i could keep rambling about this for a while so i'll stop now but thanks again for hearing me out this is so cool and you know hopefully you get to see you there that'd be so amazing so i'll talk to you later and i'll put up a, a proper video for you shortly okay thank you bye